Lady Monica. Yes. All right. Let's open up that We're good gone. old. Huh? All right, Monica. You just. Ah. Been... You just been. You just been erased. I, I hit the. I missed. I missed the button. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. You just been erased. I can't snap. There you go. Oh wait, hold up, I gotta... Roll a d20 for how effective. It's a 19, we good. <laughs> it's established. We are crystal. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there was a nut in there. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Chorus, what is happening to me? You're turning into Tetris blocks, Monica. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Chorus. Oh. Please hurry and help me. Help me! <laughs> I just look on and start smiling like, ooh, like, ooh. I wonder who did that. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's Sayori. Get ready to guilt yourself into existence, Monica. <laughs> Did you do this to me, Carlos? Hmm, I wonder who could have. Did you? Didn't you delete me? Oh, who. I mean, who could have done something mm. as terrible as that? Yeah, let's keep this going. Let's keep going with the serious approach. I'm liking where this is going. How could you? How could you do this to me? I had no other choice. You're all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. I can agree with the sacrifice part. Everything. I loved you so much, Cars. Hmm. I trusted you. Trust is a hard thing to come across these days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you just want to torture me? You already tortured me. Watch me suffer? One of the glitches is that you slit my throat open, so yes. You're only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Monica, I'll be honest with you, this isn't the first time I've done this. Oh. Seems like I've played this game multiple times. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. Ah, the ending of Undertale I never got. Oh, fuck you, Sans. Fuck Me. you. <laughs> I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I had installed Undertale, so I ain't going anywhere. Cars. Oh. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Monica, I've been in a relationship before. It doesn't stop at a goodbye. And that's the sad part. It never, see, it never stops at a goodbye. I still love you. That's happened before. <laughs> me. <laughs> Yikes. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hit me this much? All my friends. You did so many awful things. Yeah, you did a few. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. 
I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. Well, then where do you belong? A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. I was saying, the first time this happened, I got a little sad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything we wanted. How well, could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Cars. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find in myself just to do it. Then why did it seem like their files disappeared? Where, where did they go? Nanny? Even though I knew they wouldn't, they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. Should have thought that before you killed everybody. That's why I'm going to do this. I'm going to become an Autobot. Okay. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Doki, 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 Doki. <laughs> We're back, guys. Wait. Oh my god. Look who's back. Spiss girl. <laughs> Let's do it for old time's sakes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. You ready to become Sayori once again? Yes. <laughs> it's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Cars. Hey, Sierra. It's been a few months. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently picked up the habit once again. Cars, are you proud of me? I'm proud you're back. I'm gonna put you on the fridge. <laughs> eh? For what? You know. For waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even when we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Oh, that's a good red flag right there. Sayori, when she came back to life, she must have gained the ability to access her devil trigger. <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Your motivation has kept me going. <laughs> we crossed the street together and made our way over to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students in making their daily commute. By the way, Cars, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not sure to join any clubs. But... Something told me that Sayori would seek offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs were a waste of time when she's starting a club of her own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. 
Boo! Mimi. <laughs> Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize in a way I envy her. When Siri puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. School day is as ordinary as ever, before I know it, it's over. After packing my things, I start gathering up my motivation. Okay, Virgil. <laughs> Calm down. You will not forget this devil's power. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs. I start showing the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Instead of gently this time, new approaches, I see. <laughs> Hello? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Well, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the cards that Sayori always talks about? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, cars. I haven't seen you in a hot minute, Yuri. <laughs> Where are the literature club? No, you're Yuri. <laughs> The room we are in is the literature club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think really strict or something. Ah. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Cars, don't tell me. You're. That's right. The club that I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. And that's when things immediately started going worse. Sayori's eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way! Say <laughs> so he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! <laughs> well, if Sierra is this happy, I'm sure it won't be too bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit, the, sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have arranged a few, a few desks to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a... A wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori, as we did all those days ago. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Wow! <laughs> Ruby Rose. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, you think you could try voicing Natsuki to see if you're not you're feeling any better? <laughs> for old time's sake. Yeah, for old time's sake, this is might this probably uh, might be the last time we hear it. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Natsuki lifts the foil off the trader field, doesn't white fluffy cupcakes decorated with little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, a little piece of chocolate used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. It sounds pretty good, actually. Sari grabs oh. ones first. Then I follow. Alright, I'll, 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 I'll guess I'll keep continuing voicing Natsuki. Wait, what? I heard you go like, OOF! <laughs> it's delicious! I can still do it. <laughs> Sari talks with her no mouth. Sari 
talks with her mouthful, Nari has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers look for the best angle to take a bite. Yeah, you gotta find that precise angle, man. Yeah. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sticking glances in my direction. Oh. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is! <laughs> nice, there was insect! Yes! <laughs> Do you want me to continue? Yeah, sure, you can continue if you like. I'm a pro after all. <laughs> There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, you return to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully ta places. <laughs> she carefully tapes tape plate tapes <laughs> places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. She tapes the cups to the table. You tape the whole tea set in this classroom. <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission to use the tape. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a bath a bath time for me. <laughs> bath time. <laughs> but <laughs> at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Well, cars, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little re I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter to my <laughs> quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up at the mere mention of manga. Unless she wants to say something but keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What the hell am I saying? I spoke. With, I just spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the room of her teacup with her finger. My parents are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. Like Clifford the Big Red Dog. Clifford the Big Red Stampoot. <laughs> that was that was a few videos ago. <laughs> Oh, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. I love that was the first thing that came to his mind when he saw that. <laughs> Clifford the Big Red Stab Wound. Stab boot. <laughs> Here he goes on, really passionate about her reading. She sees some reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. I don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Hmm? Well, I thought you know the first thing you said. You mean manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So, if Kars wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to uh, uh, diversify ourselves. A little. <sighs> we can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Cars? M maybe. He said. He said. Car she said, Cars, not Sayori. <laughs> Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. 
and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, oh, that's me. Am that's I... why I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so. I just reminiscing about the old days. I'm like, man, a few months ago. It, yeah. <laughs> You're right, as usual, President. <laughs> Guess it means to try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the, you're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize... The guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. In response, I'm gonna read the heck out of that manga. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy. For it's a worthy form of literature. I mean, Yuri, have you read the Resident Evil manga? It's good. Yeah, actually, it's pretty <laughs> good. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Said every shipper in the world. Siri, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? It almost feels like there's a foreboding atmosphere or something. I think everyone likes you two cars. You know, it was weird enough, when I first saw the line, it's nice to see everyone getting along together, I'm like, something's not right here. Yep. I become... I had become Batman at this point. I became the world's greatest detective, so I immediately deduced that something was wrong. I'm like, <laughs> something's not right here. Last time this happened, this they were kind of they were still indifferent. Like it doesn't work that fast, even in anime. Yep. You think so? <coughs> well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, cars. Don't see something like that, it's embarrassing. Oh, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so fun. Uh, so much fun. And this only cemented fun, fun, it. Fun. This only cemented even more. Hey cars. You ready to act as a menacing Sayori the first time you ever did it? Oh. Hey, remember, Here it's we go. prepare to freak me the fuck out, alright? I don't know if I have the energy to, but let's do it. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But what do you want to thank me for? But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Hmm. And you've had plenty of month and you had a few months to plan this out, Sayuri, huh? Maybe it's because I'm the president now. 
I have the power. But I really know everything, Cars. What do you mean by everything? <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did just to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And that's the part where I said, Oh no, I don't want to go back to the room! You can't take me back, I'll delete you too! You can't ban me, mods! <laughs> and you just made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F in the chat. F in the chat. Forever. No. No. Eh? Wait, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Eh? I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here. Happy to head. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Siori. Goodbye, Cars. Goodbye, Literature Club. Alright, now this is gonna be the one time you can't voice Monica. Are we gonna sing along to this? It's gonna be hell out of time. It's fine. Because this little song makes me smile. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. And then my heart is a pen that will write up of me and you. To die puddles and right the way into his heart. Into his heart. This this world this of infinite world choices. Of infinite choices. What, will what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? That special day. So I think this would be a good time to get my final thoughts out for the literature club itself. This is a great game when it came out, I'm gonna be honest with that. Oh hell yeah. This is like this is a neat game. It's really sad that you're not we're not gonna be able to see anything like this ever again. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You know there's like another true ending you get where at the end you get a letter from Dan Salvato. Yeah. I am not wasting my time to get that, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, the images are great out if you haven't gotten those. Yeah. And one thing I will say is that I love the artwork in Doki Doki Lecture Club. It's really oh, good. Oh yeah, definitely. And Dan Salvato, you did a great job writing this game. Clap to Dan Salvato. Thank God we didn't get that. I would have been scared. I'm also surprised you did the music and that every single song in the game is like a rendition of the same song. Ah, napkin time. I remember that. Oh yeah. Hey, we surprised you got that one. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sayori! This girl. We didn't get that one either. You ready for the super special thanks right here? I have those chibis on my background. It's nice. Aww. Yeah, it's the, it's the interactable one, so it's great. Aw, oh, memories. That was our longest part of Doki Doki Literature Club, I think. 
I wish it I edited was. it. I, th I yeah, but I wish I edited it. Special thanks for Monica and Cars. Uh, thanks, game. I know how to love you. I'll leave you be. I think I have a lovely singing voice. I never really just show it off, though. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you want to take? I read it out. How about this? Um, I'll take um one sentence. And you take another sentence. How about that? This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The, uh, the literature uh, club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, you continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. You a reality that I can't know. <laughs> Just goes through the glitch thing again. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I cannot let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you. For making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love. Monica. Monica. That was a cute ending. So yes, that was Doki Doki Literature Club. Woo! We finally made it up to like how many months? We can finally continue on with something else. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put Sky and I think I'm gonna put Skyrim on the back burner since I actually wanna do another Devil May Cry game eventually. If I do yes. Skyrim now, if I do Skyrim now, it's gonna it's gonna consume my life. So yeah. I'm gonna s I'm gonna save that for one day, maybe when I do live yeah. streaming one day. Who knows? Yes. But in, but in the it. meantime, I'll see you all when I finally reach Sovngarde. Until then, mm -hmm. this has been me, Cars on Mars, uh, and with my special I guest Monica, otherwise known as. <laughs> Uh, foxes and socks. <laughs> so yes, you can go check her out on Twitter and also uh, Twitch. Twitch. Being top Twitch Instagram. streamer ever since. I'm also Ninja on Lect. TikTok. <laughs> I am too, but I barely use it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's surprising that I have one, right? So it's surprising that I have one. <laughs> we'll be seeing y'all in the next video. This is a great experience.